Hey everyone, in the mail a while ago I got a box full of Sentai vinyl figures. I want to go over some of these with you. So right here we have uh, one of the Gao Ragers from Hurricane Jir. That's really cool. Uh, decent figure. Well painted, well sculpted. Nothing much to say about him. Although there is a weird thing with him. There was another one. And there's also another one. Yeah, it is him. It's just uh, he's like translucent pink. Instead of this more, like, uh, kind of dark crimson color that he is. That's weird. So, uh, oh, and then here's, uh, let's see, the blue one, or the purple one? I don't know, maybe it's just the way the light is, but yeah, it's purple. Except for the boots. The boots are blue. I don't know why only the boots on these translucent ones are painted. That's really weird. So then we got a little, uh, space ranger here. Oh, there were two space rangers. Here's the other one. This one has uh, the little sticker there with the colors. This one, it was uh, missing, so I took some markers and tried to color it in. I think it worked. It's not rubbing off or anything. Anyway, both of these are pretty decent. Nothing wrong with them. They're not scratched up or anything. And then we got a little uh, diminutive uh, blue Ginga Man. Pretty cool. I like the Ginga Man designs, and I don't have any... Uh, Final figures of them, so these were really cool to find. Here we got a yellow Gogo 5 Ranger. This is really cool. Let's see. I think I... Yeah, I already have one of these, but it's kind of dirty because it was played with, apparently. So, uh, yeah, it's cool to have one that's a little bit more in pristine shape. Also interesting, this is uh, the male version. Because in Japan, uh, the yellow Ranger in Gogo 5 was male. Over here in Power Rangers, it was female. So yeah, not a lot of chances for a male Yellow Ranger like this to come out over here. And here we got a blue Gogo 5 Ranger. Really well sculpted. I like this size. This is a really nice size for these vinyl figures. I wish I could find more in this specific size. And then, uh, yeah, last up for this scale is a Red Ginga Man. Really, really cool. I love this design, although they seem to have been slightly off-center. Especially with, like, the belt. If you look close at the belt, the V is, like, uh, the black on the belt buckle is, like, slightly off. But it's not too big of a deal. And it looks fine. Or, you can actually see it better from a distance, actually. That's weird. Okay, anyway, Red Ginga Man. He looks cool. I like him. And here we got a little Red Gao Ranger. Really cool. I think I might have this same type of figure. I don't know for sure. I'll have to look through my other vinyls, but... Yeah, this is a really nice little figure. Oh, and they even got the detail of the, the stripes on there. That's nice. Oh, and the little ch chest symbol thing. And here we've got Yellow Ginga Man. And, like, Gogo 5, yeah, it's the male model. Because, uh, yeah, it was male over in, uh, in Japan in Ginga Man. So, yeah, cool. We won't be getting a male uh, Yellow Lost Galaxy Ranger. Unless they do Super Mega Force figures or something. I can't remember if they, like, changed colors or not. They could have, though. Whatever, anyway. Moving on. We've got Yellow Hurricane Really cool. I think the helmet's a little longer than it should be. I don't know. It's always looked weird to me. I have a couple of these little Hurricane vinyls. Oh, he's, like, tilted in a weird way. I think he was squished in the box or something. Moving on. Here we got a little Red Time Force Ranger. Really nice little figure. Really well painted. Uh, his legs are really close together. I think they're supposed to be spread out a little bit more. I think he got squashed or something at some point. Oh, and even the Morpher is painted. That's cool. It's a really nice little red Time Force, or Time Ranger. And then this is really cool. Go on gold. No go on silver, unfortunately, but hey, this is pretty neat. Also, apparently Japan couldn't always get the color gold right either. Ugh. Ah, uh, that just looks disgusting. Let's turn him around. <laughs> It looks okay. I kind of wish they had had a little bit shinier material for the gold, but eh, whatever. Then here we get a teeny tiny red bowcanger. Nice detail, though, for such a small, skinny figure. Yeah. Then right here we got a yellow bowcanger. Very skinny again. And pink bowcanger. Not a whole lot to say about these. They're fine. 
Little red Ginga Man Ranger. He's cool. Oddly got translucent arms. Like, if I hold him up to the light, yeah, he, you can see through his arms, kind of. It's really weird. I don't know why they did that. Let's see. Oh, and here's another uh, one of these Gal Ragers from uh, Hurricaneger. Pretty cool little figure. Oh, and there were two of these guys, too. I don't know why they had two of each of them. That was weird. Got a little green O-Ranger here. This was cool to find. I like these little stubby, like, armed and legged little rangers. These are funny looking. And then, oh, here's a little stubby blue O-Ranger. And then here we got a green Ginga Man. That is really cool. I'm so glad there were so many Ginga Man figures. It's, I wish I could have, like, found the whole line or something, but eh, this is fine. And then, oh, here's another little O-Ranger, red. Um, nothing much to say. It's in better shape than mine. Mine, the little star visor is almost completely scratched away. Little yellow O-Ranger, this is cool. Uh, big O-Ranger fan, so... I love these designs. They're really nice designs, so I'm glad to have these. Oh, her arm's all dirty. Ugh, what is that? Oh, and this arm's all dirty, too. What the heck? Okay, apparently she was, uh, really dusty or something. Or pulled out of a trash can. <laughs> Oh well, whatever. Anyway, little uh, blue vinyl Hurricaneger. That's nice. I think I already have one of these. I'll have to look, see if it's the same size. Let's see, little teeny tiny blue Bokanger there. Oh, the only Deca Ranger figure in this lot. Deca Blue. There he is. Yay. I don't know what to say about him. Then we got a little red Hurricaneger, and then a translucent red Hurricaneger. And this one, the boots are not painted, they are translucent as well. So that's a weird thing. I don't know what the story is with these translucent figures. Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe these were a popular thing in Japan. Who knows? I don't really care for them, but whatever. Uh, I like just the normal, sh more show-accurate versions of the figures. So anyway, yeah, there is a bunch of the, uh, the vinyl figure that I got in the mail a while ago. This was a really cool set of figures to find. I'm really happy I got these. So yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.